Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Phoenix. Welcome back to my channel, Less Than a Home. I just wanted to do a quick video, kind of giving an intro to my channel, overview of who I am, what I want to do with this, and what my plans are. First and foremost, I want to thank Zach. He is my editor. He has his own channel. It's called Public Access and Chill. And he has a sketch comedy crew or troupe, or I, I don't know exactly you know, how they would call it, but they have a channel where they do a lot of comedy type things. He's, he's been nice enough to help me with this channel until I have the means to essentially uh, repay him. And he's helped me currently with editing, with motivation, with keeping me on track. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at putting off things. So, biggest shout out to him. Please go check out his channel. Um, none of this would be possible without him. I mean, every, every one of them has been great with their support. So, huge, huge thank you to them. And please do check out their channel. So I just wanted to pretty much give an overview of what I have planned. So I'm I'm homeless, if, if you haven't gathered by now. Um, I live in a tent in the woods. It is currently winter. And I, I see a lot of stuff this time of year, especially around the holidays, about, you know, people's opinions and perceptions of homeless people. Now, I don't want sympathy or pity or anything like that. I just hope to get some understanding and have people kind of see a day in the life of a homeless person and um, kind of get an overview of a different perspective, I guess, because some of the big things I hear is, you know, uh, they chose it, uh, they, they just do drugs, don't give them money, don't give them help, don't give them support, they're, they're just gonna spiral out or do more self-harmful things, buy drugs, buy alcohol, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Just kind of a lot of misconceptions. Basically like, this isn't something that I chose. This isn't something I want. I do work a job. I don't panhandle. I don't do drugs. And I'm, I'm constantly working to improve my situation, striving to improve myself as a person. You know, I do have a slurry of my own problems that, uh, you know, I do work on. I just kind of wanted to tell my story show the endurance of the human spirit. I've been through I've been through a lot in my life and I've I've always managed to get out of it and things have always managed to get better. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to kind of show as long as you work hard and, and stick to your goals, you know, you can you know, achieve achieve whatever you put your mind to. I've watched YouTube pretty much as long as it's been out. Starting a channel is something that I wanted to do for a while and I've I've seen so many people grow on, on this platform. I've seen it also get pretty commercialized, but I figured that kind of sharing my story can send a positive message and maybe do some good. And it's also, I guess, fulfilling a dream of mine that I've wanted to do. I've always kind of wanted to do something in the entertainment industry. I've, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an actor. So, you know, maybe this is just a, a first step and who knows where it's gonna go. I know that, you know, this content alone, it might not be the most popular. I, I do plan to do like commentary type videos in between. I plan to do interviews with, with other homeless people, non-homeless people on the topic. Well, I have a few things in the works already as far as that goes. But I just really want to change the stigma surrounding homelessness and kind of humanize the people that are affected by it. You know, I, I do love animals and, you know, I, I want the best for them as well. But like one, one fact I just recently found out is that there is uh, a much, much larger, I forget the exact figures, but there's a lot more animal shelters than there are shelters for homeless or domestic violence victims or women's programs. You know, as much as I do love animals as well, I also just think that there should be more support for our fellow man. And I know that this can be a, a hard topic that not a lot of people want to look right at or, or face, but I hope that um, I can shed light on a, on a problem that, you know, it kind of needs some attention. There's, 
there's a few things that have, that inspired me to do this. You know, I, I've seen plenty of rags to riches type stories through my time on the internet. I remember when I was a kid on MySpace, I remember seeing like, for example, Jeffree Star starting his music career and things that he was doing on there. And you know, I see him today and, and how much he's done with his life and it's very inspiring. There's a lot of other channels that I've watched when they were, they had very small sub counts and over the past you know, couple of years, I see them go from extremely small channels to all celebrating over a million. Um, I believe Leon Lush lives uh, pretty close to me, I think. And I remember when, you know, he had like, when he was just celebrating 100K and now he's over a million. I, I'm gonna do a separate video on kind of inspirations and things like that. But I also noticed that a lot of YouTube is, is so glamorized and that is something that a lot of people talk about. And I figure, you know, me doing this kind of puts, is me putting my, my you in, in YouTube and, and telling a story that's very real and down to earth. So I hope that I could possibly be that story. I mean, I do work hard. This is, this is kind of a side thing for me. And I don't know if it, if everything pans out, then I hope to be, you know, some sort of inspirational story that they can show people that they can do anything that they set their mind to. And it doesn't matter how, how bad or dark things can can get, you can always you can always get out of it and always strive for better. I'm also open for content ideas. I mean, if you guys have any ideas for specific things that you want to see, you can shoot me an email. My email is less than a home at gmail.com. I also have social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. I'm still getting used to keeping up with my social media presence and working on those. So bear with me. Some other ideas that I've had. I've thought about maybe doing a second channel. There is somebody that is close to me in my situation who is, has really wanted to do a channel with slime or soap making or ASMR, beauty content, a lot of stuff like that. And uh, I, I hope to help them and um, also kind of document that their content might be a lot more of trending material or something. So just kind of giving an insight on, on growing channels on YouTube or trying to make content on YouTube. I'm basically like be explaining it on this one. Another another point that I wanted to make is uh, a thing I also see, uh, just some things that I wanted to address and I'll, I'll probably do more so with my content, but I've seen like a lot of, of different YouTubers kind of exploit situations like this for attention. One of them was actually one of the negative type of inspirations that drove me to do a channel. I'm pretty, I'm guilty of watching train wrecks, I guess you could say. And there was this person who has a channel, and I guess you could say that I'm part of the hater community. In, in this person's channel, they were trying to donate to homeless or something like that. And they were trying to garner some sort of praise for doing a good deed. And um, I don't know, I just kind of felt a certain type of way about that. I don't feel like things like that, I don't think you should really look for points for, for trying to do good. There's also some other YouTubers. I don't know what community communities you guys belong to, but um, one of them was, you know, pretending to get kicked out of his house and living in a tent, causing a big scene about it. Another YouTuber, Sam, there was actually two. Both of them were saying they were kicked out by their wife and living in a tent. And, um, you know, that's, I don't know. I It, it could have been a bit, it could have been a joke. But you know they they tried to portray it as real, looking for real sympathy. Well, this is this isn't a bit. This isn't a 24-hour challenge for me. This isn't just something that I can stop filming the video and then go home after. This is this is my day-to-day -day life. Like this is this is it for me right now. And um, until I can do something better to help my situation, that's what it's going to be. Come rain, snow shine it is what it is until i can you know my one of my biggest obstacles is my credit score you know i made some stupid decisions as a teenager and that that's like a huge barrier to getting a place but um i'm trying to take advantage of the resources available shelters don't really work for me that's another video thing that i'll be doing and explaining why um but yeah so basically i figure that if I cannot become an inspiration, 
or if I, I fail in any way along this journey and I don't end up being an example of the endurance of the human spirit, then at the very least, I'll end up being one of these guilty pleasure train wreck sort of channels that people can at least come to and use to feel better about their own lives, much like how I watch some other people on YouTube. So the way I look at it is all in all, the channel will do something positive for somebody somewhere. And that's, that's all I could really hope to accomplish. I've had some people already ask me about doing donations and stuff like that. And it's not something that I'm, I'm quite, I, it's not why I started this channel, you know, as a, if you could call it pride or you can call it what is stubbornness or whatever you want. But, um, you know, I really hope to be able to overcome this myself. And, um, you know, as I said, I don't, I don't want sympathy and I don't want pity. I don't want people to feel bad for me. I just, I want to be able to work hard and, and show that you can overcome obstacles. One woman that who's a subscriber of mine, asked me to make an Amazon wish list or something like that. Um, so I might do that, um, I might put it in the description below. I don't know, uh, I'd probably just be camping here or something. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys just kind of a little bit of insight onto what this channel is all about, what I hope to do. Um, I'm gonna thank you all for your support. Um, I've, I've been talking to a few of you uh, through various social medias and it's really touching, you know. Um, I try not to let my community know that I'm homeless. Um, I keep it hidden as much as I can because again, it's just, it's an uncomfortable topic to a, a address. But even I've had some friends and once they've heard of me being in this situation, you don't really hear from him much anymore. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's its maybe because they feel like they want to do something but they can't and so they just become distant. But the support I've gotten from a lot of you online has been, it's been wonderful. It's, it's really touching and I really appreciate it. Um, so thank you guys for that. And yeah, so please subscribe. Um, there is, I have a, a, Zach is working on editing a few videos that I've shot. Um, there was a snowstorm that I made it through a couple weekends ago. And basically, I uh, just go over like survival techniques, how I stay warm, just kind of give an overview. So um, again, like don't feel bad. I'm not in, not in any immediate danger or anything like that. And hopefully, That'll um, some of you guys at ease knowing that I am managing to to get by. Um, and yeah, so yeah, please subscribe and keep an eye out for those videos. All right, thank you. Hey guys, Phoenix again. This clip may look a little out of place. Um, it's just something that I I realized that I didn't really talk too much about upcoming videos or what my plans were. So I just wanted to kind of insert these in here so you have something to look forward to, have some idea of what videos I'll have coming out. So basically I wanted to do kind of a, <laughs> like a Cribs episode almost, if you would, basically what it looks, what my home looks like, what I'm living in, how I'm living, how I, how I get by, essentially what my setup is. I have some interviews in the works within, in my nearest city with some of the homeless population there, some of their stories, people, some of the like shop owners in the area, you know, their kind of views on the homeless population in the area, how they feel, you know, some of their experiences. I have a couple commentary videos, like there's there was a situation with uh, Nerd City and it's shot from the point I, I forget that S F T P uh, news. 
basically just me kind of weighing in on that situation because I don't know, I, I, I had some insight or you know, um, I will be doing commentary uh, as often as I can just to kind of keep content consistent on my channel. I do want to get on a regular schedule. Procrastination is probably one of my worst character traits. Let's see, there was, there was a really bad snowstorm a couple weekends ago and I vlogged through a lot of that, how I got through it, my own personal survival techniques for staying warm. Yeah, so those are, those are some things to look forward to on, on this channel. So, you know, again, I appreciate the sub and I out for that content. Um, I'm gonna try to get as consistent as possible. Um, huge thank yous to Zach and his, well, Zach, Zach's the one who does all that. Um, I, I do like to thank all of them as well, but huge thank you to Zach. And um, yeah, as long as, you know, he can, can uh, keep me on track, then we should have some content out on a regular basis. Uh, if you guys also want to give me input on that, I'm, I'm completely open to suggestions. I know I gave my email. Um, yeah, completely open to video idea suggestions and or any other comments or critiques, anything that you guys may be thinking of. I, my email address is linked below. Um, and yeah, feel free to shoot me a message or you can shoot me a message on any of the social medias that I'm on. I just want to say sorry if my thoughts come off as very jumbled. I've been trying to take notes. Um, this is still very new to me. It's also topics that I don't necessarily like to share or I'm not I'm like not used to sharing. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of tough. I mean, this whole, this whole thing is very new to me. So thank you for bearing with me as I kind of find my footing in the YouTube sphere and just kind of get used to content creation uh, in general. Also, for this specific community, you know who you are, um, of a certain YouTuber that kind of, you know, really gave me that kick to start. Um, I was also kind of thinking of having like a mini series of doing a sort of weight loss journey. Basically just to show that uh, if somebody in my situation with zero resources can do things that could lead to a healthier lifestyle and, and uh, lose weight, then, you know, it's, there's really not that many excuses left after that. But yeah, you know, who knows? Uh, again, like if, uh, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to reach out, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to talk to any of you. But yeah, so stay tuned and thank you guys so much for the support. Bye. All right, um, one thing I wanted to add real quick. Uh, it, it, might be, it might be silly to some guys. It might be silly to some of you guys, but um, this is, I, you probably can't see, but this is this like little lantern thing that I bought probably like two months ago now. And um, I mean, it's probably really bright in here, so you can't tell, but it's actually still lit up very dimly. And the whole reason I bought it was because it was it was like this pack of stuff at Walmart. It was all different flashlights and things like that. But it came with like so many batteries that the price the price of the kit was worth it just for the batteries alone. And um, so I so I bought it and I, I put all the batteries and everything. And, and this is one of the things that came with it and it's had its original batteries in it ever since and it's still very faintly lit up this has been this has been lit up for like two months now and um you know every night when i come home from work i see it lit up and um you know i know i could my my therapist says to stop trying to intellectually explain everything away but um, you know, I'm sure there's some scientific reason how it's still working, but I try to look at it as kind of like a beacon of hope that you know, I've even I've even joked with someone close to me that like as long as like this is lit up, you know, it kind of gives me that that inspiration and drive to keep going on, and that you know, no matter how dark and things have gotten you know this light's always been there and it's um yeah it's 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 been a comforting thought and um i wish i actually kind of 
showed it at when I first got it. Um, I might even change the batteries and, and see. And it could be like a channel mascot or something that just kind of just shows that just shows, you know, endurance. It'd be a symbol, some symbolism for the endurance of the human spirit and, you know, being able to make it through the darkest of times. And, you know, you know no matter how bad things get, there's always going to be that light that's there to help you through the dark.